All right, can everyone see my screen? Sweet, so my app is uh, called Get It Done in 2021. I feel like just kind of going off of the um, new year um, and obviously 2020 sucked. So we got to kind of push forward to 2021. Um, it's a pretty simple kind of basic app. I really just want to focus on kind of CSS and styling with this one. Um, it's really kind of just kind of like a planner for 2021. I'll kind of walk you through the features here. Um, first one we got is our 2021 goals. So we'll click on that again, clean, uh, nice to look at, kind of minimal kind of styles, what I was going for. Um, and this is just kind of our 2021 goals checklist. So this is kind of where you can do your kind of to do's like what you want to complete in 2021. So let's just kind of fill some of these out. Let's say I want to run a 5K this summer. We'll go ahead and just add a uh, fun little emoji because why not? Boom, click that, add a couple more. Let's say read more, uh, 30 books, let's go for it. So as you can see, it just kind of builds out, clean look. Um, and then obviously like probably a lot of people, I wanna eat healthier, I spell healthier, there we go. Eat healthier and lose some weight, boom. Um, and then when this is kind of filled out, you can go ahead and simply, if you want to update it, you can kind of click on it. Uh, it'll bold so you know that you're updating it. Let's make this a little bit more specific. So we'll lose five pounds. Probably need to lose a bit more, but whatever. Lose five pounds. Updates it. When you're done, you can check on it. Crosses it off. If you feel like, no, I'm not even going to do that at all, you can just exit out. Like, come on, let's be real. I'm not going to do that. So you can just exit out. Boom. So that's the first feature. Simple checklist. Uh, but again, my, my main goal here was just to kind of make it minimal, make it look kind of uh, stylish and simple. So moving on, monthly budget. Um, so I am terrible with budgeting, so I want to get better this year. So we'll go ahead and put in a monthly income. Uh, let's just say 5,000, just uh, why not? We'll hit create, add a new category. We'll start with food. Everyone needs that. No idea how much, but let's just say 300. Add a new category. It is the time of COVID, so we do need that alcohol 100. And then you'll click Save. And then when it saves, it pops up. And then you actually see uh, the amount, the actual percentage of the food that's coming out of your budget, um, the total that you have, and then kind of what's remainder up here. Um, anytime, you can go ahead and edit. So again, let's be real, it's COVID. Save and you can see the income percentage goes up, total goes up, remainder goes down. So again, pretty simple, um, but something that I definitely wanna focus on is budgeting. Um, anytime you can uh, delete the budget, you'll be prompted, are you sure? Yes, and it just kind of clears out. So pretty simple. And then the last one is books, because obviously, like I said, I wanted to read more. This was a feature that I didn't quite style out as much as I would have liked to yet. Um, as you can see, it's not as pretty as I, as I would have liked. Uh, but just to kind of show you kind of what it's, um, what it kind of does, obviously. Here are the books that I've read so far. Uh, this one up here, we'll just delete this. When you delete it, it says book removed, that'll go away. Let's go ahead and add a book. I just finished a book last week. Uh, what was it? Uh, the Goldfinch. I don't know if anyone's read that, but it's fantastic. Well, it's not spelled right. What is that? The Goldfinch. Who's that by? That's by Donna Chart. Rating was good, add book, boom, adds it, book added, and that disappears. So my ultimate goal here is I wanna make these kind of look actually like little cards that look like books. So it kind of resembles an actual bookshelf. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Just so that I can kind of look back on the year, see how many books I've read and kind of which ones I liked, which ones I didn't like. Um, and then simply you can just go ahead and click home and you go back to the, the main page of get it done in 2021. So that's it. That's my app, pretty simple, but uh, yeah, still stuff to do. Everybody give him a hand for that. That app was hashtag goals. He certainly got that app done. All righty. Does anybody have any questions for Kevin? How did you do all that in a week? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. A lot of Googling, um, a lot of trial and error, a lot of late nights, uh, early mornings. I'm sure we all know about that. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't get it, did it like completely done. The book's feature is not quite there, but yeah, I was pretty proud with being able to kind of get it all done. 
Looks awesome, Wada. Thanks. All righty, if there's no further questions, everybody give it up one more time. And, and next up, we've got Grant and Luke. Go ahead and share when you're ready. Everybody give it up for him. All righty. Okay, uh, so uh, we built a ski shop app. So it's called Ski uh, Ski Daddle ski, or Ski Shop Skedaddle. And like, okay, so welcome to the Ski Daddle Ski Shop. Uh, so we have the option to. Uh, it asks you, has you visited us before? Yes or no? So we'll say no. And then we're going to create a user account. Just collecting some user data. We'll make a username, a password. Okay, so once we've made our um, user account, so it's where it's going to ask us about our ski since we're in a ski shop. So I'm going to work on my Armada JJs. They're 190s and they are powder skis. And then it gives us a drop down of some ski conditions. Um, you know, do they need a wax? Are they dull? Did they get destroyed by rocks? Or did you just bring in a new pair of skis? So uh, I'll say that they got destroyed by rocks and snow hasn't been that great this year. Uh, so here we have a list of services that we can go through. Uh, wax, edge, base repair, full tune, and then binding, uh, binding, binding mounting. So since we hit a bunch of rocks, we'll repair our base. <clears throat> and then it tells us that the base repair will cost $60 and take about 120 minutes to complete. So we will proceed with that. And then it tells us we're currently working on your Armada JJ that has currently destroyed by rock. So it gives us our current condition. Well, Tech's working on the skis here. And our condition uh, got changed to tune. So they're ready to go. So we've bugged the guys long enough and we're ready to go shred. Uh, so we'll run through it one more time. Luke, you there? Yep, I'm right here. Uh, yeah, we included a feature where you can uh, delete the username uh, that's stored within the application. So if you go to yes, have you vis visited us before? And then enter the username that was previously entered. Uh, it remembers you, you enter the password, and then there's a drop down menu right here to either work on your skis which runs through the application like we just did or manage my account, which has an option to delete the user account. So let's just say yes on delete account. Then we have this kind of passive aggressive uh, message that pops up here. And then just to, uh, just to certify that it's deleted, we'll run through it one more time and then pretend like that user still exists and um, say yes and then enter the username then it will redirect you to create a new account and run through the whole thing again uh, that's pretty much it well i don't know about you but before i hit the slopes next time i know what app i'm going to use everybody give it up for <laughs> luke and grant does anybody have any questions All righty, one last quick clap for him. And uh, next up, we have Kevin Glasgow. Everybody give it up for Kevin. What's up, guys? So I have made an app called uh, the Recipe Swapper. And uh, what this is, is like, um, kind of like a space where you can share, um, you know, different recipes, your favorite recipes, family recipes, anything like that. So if we sign in, brings us to our homepage. Um, I only had time to uh, seed four, so we've only got these four to choose from right now. Um, so let's say we want some mac and cheese. Uh, it'll bring up the mac and cheese um, show page. Uh, don't worry about them still being in arrays. <laughs> um, let's say um, you want to read more about uh, food or cooking. Uh, we also have a blog page. 
Um, so you can come here and you can view your blog or other people's blogs. Um, some things that didn't make it onto the app were um, my forms for creating um, new, um, new recipes and new blogs. Um, my profile page isn't really there either, um, but from here you can delete your profile, delete um, recipes or blogs. But I would have liked to have added um, forms to post new recipes and blogs. And uh, yeah, that's really my app. <laughs> well, I wasn't hungry and now I certainly am. Everybody give it up for Kevin. All righty. Um, does anybody have any questions for Kevin? All righty. Then without further ado, our next project that we will be presenting today is Jordan. Everybody give it up for Jordan. Oh, hey guys. Let me try to share my screen here. All right, so as a musician, um, one thing I've never done well was like keep track of sets, like the shows I played, how many tickets I sold, how much money I made, the songs I played in any of those sets. So I made Setly, which kind of has two sides of it. One is as the artist, I can do all of the things I just mentioned. And then in the future, concert goers will be able to make accounts to keep track of shows they've attended and get data like how many times they've seen their favorite band or their favorite song performed by that band. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in as an artist. And when I log in, it welcomes me and redirects me straight to my song library. So within my song library, I can obviously add songs or edit and delete songs. Um, just as a quick example, this song I made yesterday and this morning, I thought it sounded better, a little bit speeded up. So I changed the tempo, but everything else can stay the same. And we got that updated here. Um, one of the main features I wanted was to be able to make sets within this. So like see all of my songs, which is just straight from my song library and drag and drop these where I want them. <clears throat> so as I start to make this out, one thing I always refer to is the wheel of fifths. Um, so I can see what mixes well. And this first song is in E minor. So I got E minor and I could go well into like A minor. So area codes flip fits well with that. Similar tempos, good keys. I can just build out my set list here as I want. And at any point, I have this little land of uncertainty over here so I can drag things over there as well. Um, but basically I can save this set list and it'll save to my work in progresses, which if I scroll up to my work in progresses, I have this new work in progress from January 8th, 2021. If I click this, it'll bring me back to the edit page with the same set order and the same land of uncertainty. <laughs> Uh, but if I save this to the database, then it shows up over here. So I have past sets, like a set that I played this fall online, one of my other past sets that I seeded, and then this new set that shows up. Um, it shows up with no information, so I'll have to edit that data and add that information in or delete the show from the database. Uh, but in the future, um, users, like concert goers, will be able to log in view those set lists and share them with friends and then be able to actually see data like how many times they've seen certain artists or certain songs by those artists. So that is my project. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Everybody give it up for Jordan, AKA Panda Say What? Does anybody have any questions for Jordan? What was the most uh, challenging part? Like the thing that you thought was maybe the coolest? Um, the most challenging thing really what I didn't quite finish was like getting two auths working like one for uh, artist users and one for end users so the end users it's still not even built out yet but that's like the future goal. Um, but the big thing I think like the thing I'm the most stoked about is the drag and drop ability and the fact that the set lists save with order data. And um, so that, that was really hard. That took a couple lessons with Ahmed. Again, thanks to Ahmed for those lessons. But uh, yeah, that drag and drop feature was definitely kind of like the most fun and most challenging to work on. 
Any other questions? Are these linked to actual like MP3s or audio that you're changing the pitch to, or is it just kind of like the set? Yeah, no, good question. It's all just um, just like for your data, like information, like it's not actually linked to audio or anything. It's just so like I can see my full song library. And oh, the joke I meant to make earlier too is like before before this app, I would have to refer to a Google a Google Doc on my computer, a note in my iPhone, and some like little crumpled up piece of paper in my trumpet case from two shows ago to try to like see all the data that I now have accessible in one simple place. Awesome, give it up one more time. <laughs> and next up, we've got Diana and Nathan Gusky. Everybody, give it up. Woo! I'm gonna share my screen. So, we did an app on Hogwarts sorting hat. Oh, yeah. So, Starts off with asking if you are your student. And Nathan, are we in your student? Not today. Or well, what's your friend or your name or friend? Oh, uh, let's do Tom Hanks. Oh, we did it backwards. Oh, well. Do you like to see any info in your class or change something? Yeah, let's change something in our, in our uh, profile. What do you want to change? Let's change the pet that I'm bringing to Hogwarts. Your horse, mini horse. Oh, we're up in the mini horse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And I'm bringing a unicorn. A unicorn? Okay. We can either save that or log out. And I realized we should have said I am a new student, but oh well. We'll do it next. Yeah. And then Nathan, you are in your student. Yes, I am today. So Bob. Bob. Oh, and how old are you, Billy Bob? Uh seventy-seven. What's your current pet? Um, a groundhog. More groundhog. So you're going to be your own sorting hat. We're going to ask you a couple questions and good luck. What can't you wait to learn? Uh, freeze time for sure. Any animal, what animal would you be? A badger. Chilling in the crowd. Would you say you would be a baby? Most definitely. And what is the closest material? Oh, um, dragon's blood. What's the core in the end of it? Dragon's blood. Welcome to Slytherin. Do you want to see your house slogan? Say that again? Do you want to see your house slogan? Yeah, why not? Awesome. And I want to see all of my wizards in Slytherin. Sweet, so you have all of these wizards. All it. Can I change your pet? Nah, not today. Okay, well, let's save these changes. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. I think we're all set for today. Solid. So we're going to go ahead and log out. Excellently done. Everybody, everybody give it up for Nate and Diana. Does anybody have any questions? How did you actually get sorted? Was it one specific option or was it this option and this option, this option, and this option, you're gonna be Slytherin or how did that work? Um, the last two questions are the two that sort you. So um, what did I choose? Stealing candy from a baby and uh, dragon's blood would be Slytherin. And then stealing candy from a baby and uh, the other one, uh, unicorn feather or whatever it was, would be uh, like Ravenclaw and then vice versa. Nice. 
Yeah. Awesome. Everybody give it up one more time. Woo. And next up, we've got Coulter. Everybody give it up for Coulter. What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> Just kidding. I know you're not Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> i've been practicing that all day can you see my screen so for my project i developed a suite of audio effect plugins using c plus plus and the juice framework and then made a website to host them don't have that much functionality so you can watch me sign in kill some time cool so now I have an account page since I've signed in. I don't have anything in it. So I've been looking for a delay plugin lately, something spunky, I can demo it. So like I can demo it on some drums. That's without my effect, my fucking dock is sticking. So let me drag this up. So with my effect. Sound a little different. I think that's cool. I'll add it to my cart. Why not? Go to my cart. I'll check out. This is totally a legitimate checkout process, by the way. So now it takes me to my account and I can download my plugin. And after a sec, it downloads an installer, which I am proud of, but I probably don't need to walk you through an installation process. So that's my project. Thanks. Everybody give it up for Coulter. Coulter, go ahead and brag about what language you use to make those plugins. I use C++. Hell yeah. When did you start learning C++? Like, end of mod two. And it drove me fucking nuts. And <laughs> made what mod three way rougher than it needed to be. But I did it, so that's cool. That was awesome. Thanks. All righty. If anyone has any more questions, I didn't technically invite that, but I just, it just kind of happened. But anybody has any other questions? Cool. All righty. Everybody give it up for Coulter one more time. And next up, we have Ben and Ariel. Everybody give it up for Ben and Ariel. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Arielle. Ben, are you here? Hi. I'm here. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I guess we'll like skip all the interest stuff. We're learning for now how it works, right? Ben, does that make sense? Seems like that's not the process. <laughs> so we'll just go straight into the app. <laughs> um, awesome. All right. So this is our app, a bit puzzling. Um, it's for people to join our community of puzzles uh, through a puzzle swap app. Um, real, this is actually inspired by a real life thing um, because of COVID. Um, I actually have a puzzle swap with friends uh, as a way to kind of like be together while still socially distancing. So fun fact. All right. Hello, puzzle friend. What is your name? My name is Ben. Ben. All right. Well, don't believe we've met. So let's get you all set up. We're adding you to the puzzle exchange. Woohoo, you are in. Okay. Let's go back to the main menu. Um, so Ben, what would you like to do? I would like to add a puzzle to the swap. All right. What are you contributing? I'm contributing a puzzle called Sunshine Lollipops. Lollipops? Like, give us a description. And it is a picture of a beautiful landscape. Picture of a beautiful landscape. Yeah. Sounds like a good puzzle. How many pieces? 12. 12 pieces. Cool. That's for people who really need to feel good about themselves during COVID. OK. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and return to the main menu. What would you like to do next? I would like to see what puzzles are available for me to check out. Great. So it looks like you've got um, Mystic Maze and Sunshine Lollipops, which is the one that you contributed. Would you like to uh, borrow any of these puzzles? Yes, I would like to check out all of the puzzles. All of them. OK, cool. So we'll return to that main menu. And what do you want to do next? Now I would like to see what puzzles I have in my basket. Awesome. Okay. So it looks like you've got Mystic Maze and Sunshine Lollipops. Both of them are in progress. Um, but do you want to mark any of them complete? Have you finished them? Yep. I finished them both. That's oh, why cool. no puzzle. All right. So Mystic Maze, no longer in progress. Sunshine Lollipops, no longer in progress. 
um, cool, let's return to the main menu and let's go ahead and just check to see that uh, those puzzles are now available for other people to take a look at. Ah, looks like they are once again in our puzzles available list. Um, and that is pretty much everything. I guess one more thing to just show um, is going to be that um, now that Ben is a part of our uh, app, when we check for Ben, it knows that Ben exists and it doesn't ask him to, um, it doesn't create a new account for him. That's it. Well, that app sure fit together nicely. <laughs> All righty. Everybody give it up for Ariel and for Ben. Um, does anybody have any questions? And uh, have you ever done a puzzle with more than 12 pieces? No, if I can't count higher than that, <laughs> that's a problem. All righty. Next up, we have Alexander Gabriel. Everybody give it up for Alex. Hello. Go ahead and share my screen. All right. My app is called Wanderlust. And basically, it kind of replicates one of those maps you might have had as a little kid. And if you put down a pin of either where you've been or what you want to do, this one's just where you've been. I guess you can do, well, no, I mean, what you want to do, I guess you could do where you've been too. So you pick a spot on the map to throw a pin. So I'll go down here and that's supposed to be Rio de Janeiro. I'll type in my name. I'm going to pretend I'm Ahmed. Location, Rio, the date. Um, I think it's somewhere around here, like the 19th or something like that. I get the latitude, longitude, and then I throw the pin. And then a card gets created with the information and people can comment on it. So even Ahmed could go carnival, bitches. And I could go Hells yeah, Bender. And uh, yeah, you could go ahead and delete the messages. And you could delete the whole cards. Um, and that's, yeah, that's basically it. Everybody give it up for Alex. Does anybody have any questions? Was that a leaflet uh, map that you ended was, up? Yeah, it was totally leaflet. <laughs> what was the hardest thing in, uh, to implement? Uh, well, since some time has gone by since the Mod 3 coding challenge, <laughs> just uh, like I wanted to spend a little bit more time on the map itself and doing different things. Um, you know, sometimes like deleting some of these, attaching the X's. But uh, just working with changing the markers. So these are custom markers. And uh, like actually even getting, well, the latitude and the longitude shouting over here in the forms. And then uh, this controller was way up here and I had to move it down, but I could not figure out what the div was. So that took a while. Alrighty, one last quick round of applause. And next up, we have Jeff Golden and Lou Leffler. Everybody give it up. Round of applause. All right, everybody see my screen? Good to go. You're good. All right. Lou and I made a little, uh, Lou's a big Goon fan and I'm, it's like my next book to read. So we made a little virtual cantina here called Spice Melange with the exact same color scheme as uh, Ariel and Ben's, but we didn't plan it, I promise. 
Um, so the first thing it does is it asks your name here. I'll just go ahead and type in Jeff and that'll bring up our main menu. So we're here at our virtual bar. Um, let's go here to, let's just view our, our menu as it exists. So Lou, are you, uh, are you unmuted here? What do you want, what do you want to drink? Um, I think I'll take an old fashioned. All right, it's been a long week and old fashioned is probably a good choice. So we're mixing, it costs uh, eight Solaris and then it pumps out a Dune quote too. So it keeps you inspired there. Uh, enter to main menu and I'm just gonna get a water myself. Very expensive water. Um, but, you know, if, if somebody wants to go off menu, they can do that too. So we have a few different starter options here. Uh, Lou, what do you want for round two? Uh, I think I'll take a tequila. I'll do tequila. What do you want to mix that with? Uh, let's do some orange spice gas. All right, getting rowdy. All right, so it's a little bit more expensive because uh, creating your own drink, you know, a little bit more intensive there. So uh, we'll skip the special of the day for now because we got a little surprise in there, but. Uh, you can see if you go to my tab, you can see at the very top uh, your total cost and credits based on what we've ordered here, and it lists out all the drinks. Um, you wanted to add more, so I'll have one more, one more water for me. I'm pretty parched. That'll add just right in there to the to the tab, and you can see it increases the the total cost and everything. Um, and then the special of the day, a little fun here. Um, oh no, the special of the day is death. That sucks. Um, speak the name of Dune's author to save yourself. Who wrote Dune? I think that was J.R.L. Tolkien, right? No! No, fuck. <laughs> All right, well, we only have one more chance here. So um, I think, Lou, who's the author here? Is it uh, Frank Herbert? I think you're right. All right, we're worthy. We got a cool quote. Go back here. All right, Lou, you ready to get on our starship and get out of here? Yeah, I think I'm Let's do it. Drink that. Zip on out. All right, and that is our app. Well, unlike the Quiza Tatarak, I never saw that one coming. That's a Dune. <laughs> Those of you who have read Dune. Spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. All right, it's not really a spoiler alert. All right, cool. Um, that was awesome. Everybody, give them a round of applause. Sweet. And uh, does anybody have any questions for them? What what happens if you uh, uh, you don't make your last chance? Uh, it boots you out of the app, and you get a message about getting eaten by a giant sandworm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> any other questions? All righty. Next up, we have Matt Malecki. Everybody, give it up for Matt Malecki. Thanks everyone. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. <laughs> I, I'm already having trouble with uh, sharing the screen. <laughs> um, there. I'm sorry. I had to minimize it. All right. And can everyone hear me? Okay. All right. Um, I'm Matthew Malecki. I am a software developer. Um, my app I'm going to present to you is called the Time Maximizer. It's a mobile app for your phone. And time is money. So there's that little graphic there. Um, those who don't know me, I am a Chicago native. I uh, have an accounting degree from Illinois State University. I especially in my prior life, I was a CPA in corporate tax. I'm a pack leader to two chihuahuas and my hobbies are volleyball. I paint abstracts, learning to speak Italian and also anything technology related I love doing. And that's what brought me here to you today and brought me to Flatiron. Um, so uh, I thought I'd show you a couple of my paintings. And this is my volleyball team, Sets in the City. Okay, so when I was an accountant in my prior life, I was so busy. I just, I needed a personal assistant because I 
my, my life was just crazy. I was working seven days a week during tax season or, or quarter end close and it was just crazy. So, um, but when you have all that being thrown at you, you, be, you become very organized and you miss appointments and deadlines and it's just not very productive. And most of all, it is stress. So my solution to that is this Time Maximizer app. Um, it's a scheduler and task list integrated. Um, there's notifications to remind you of the, of the things that you need to do so they don't fall off your radar and the, the flexibility uh, in your scheduling items. And then also uh, you can coordinate with your family into the same account. So there are multiple people can be using the same account. So let me show you, it's a mobile app and um, I have a register, but I already have an account. So I will log in. Uh, oops. Oops. I think I didn't type the password in right. All right, here we go. So um, here is the, the my account page. Um, the I have um, the items that I already have the tasks to do um, are, are here. I have grocery shopping, working out at the gym. I don't, I have got mom's spaghetti. I don't want to waste. So I want to eat that. Um, all these typical things um, um, to do. And, uh, and this, those are, th those are the items. Now, um, what did not happen in this app was the, um, the schedule. Um, the schedule was the part that was not finished. It was very uh, challenging to me, but, uh, I'll show you what, what else I have on here. Um, here, these are notes, reminders, and this, these are what the family can all, um, can all use. Um, in fact, um, I think in my family, I have two dogs. Let me see, I think I saw them on their iPhones. And, oh, don't forget to take me to the park and we need more treats. So um, anyway, but I did pick up coffee at the store today, so I'm gonna delete that. Um, and let's see, let me, and then let me create a thing. I'm not using my phone, so I gotta use these stock photos that are on. So I'm gonna say I'm going to uh, water the garden. Uh, that should take, uh, I don't know, like, like 20 minutes. Category, I'll throw in the other description, um, yard work. Yeah. So there, so then I go to my tasks and let me get rid of this one. And there it is. And log out. All right, so um, the technologies I used was React Native for the front end, Node and Express for the back end, MongoDB for the, um, the database challenges that I had learning new technologies, this entire stack was not part of the Flatiron curriculum. Um, as I mentioned before, the calendar and scheduler were just so janky and I just could not get it done. So anyway, but here is my information. I know uh, I'm easy to get a hold of for you, but in case you don't have me on LinkedIn or whatever. So that was my app and uh, thank you very much. Everybody show Matt some love. <laughs> You want you could even unmute and show him some love. That app was awesome. <laughs> oh, no. thank, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Holy cow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank man. you so much. Does anybody have any questions? When are you uploading it to the app store? <laughs> yeah, I is this actually <laughs> it it is not yet. Um I do want to a part of my First thing I want to do in mod six is get the, the scheduler on there right. And then uh yeah, then who knows? I'll I'll try.
It looks yeah, so good. Sure. So thank you. No, thank you. What, uh, Glad what you liked it. What scheduling tool are you working with or trying to work with? Um, there was one for Expo. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, let me see if I can look it up real quick. But there was one on Expo. I used in React Native, which is what I used. There was one in Expo, and it seemed like the one that everybody was using. Um, but I can't think of it. But I really had trouble, so I had to ditch that because I just ran out of time. I I definitely was a little bit way too ambitious on this project. Um, so uh, calendar, let me see if it comes up. Uh, oh, React Native calendars. There's a uh, NPM module for it, and that was the one I tried to use. And there's a lot of, I mean, if you, there's a, um, I should have did it on the other one, but there is a, uh, there's an agenda one that that I really wanted to use. So if you, um, yeah, it's, it's just called React Native Calendar. If you go to that, and you can see, and we'll show you. There's awesome. a lot of cool calendars on there. So there's a lot of possibilities. So I will keep at it. So. Thank you, everyone. Awesome job. Another quick round of applause. Thank you. Hey, speaking of uh, of Dune, hey, John, look what just showed up. <laughs> that was the secret Santa that apparently was not very secret. <laughs> <laughs> and I late, very late. <laughs> All righty. Next up, we have Alexander Sherwin and Mel. Let's get it. Everybody give it up for them. Woo! Who's ready for some divine intervention, folks? I know I am. <laughs> um, okay, let me show my screen. All right, folks. Uh, can you guys see it? Perfect. So I'm just going to assume that you guys do, or you guys can't. So we were hired by the famous fortune teller, Madame Kotake, to create a fortune telling app um, all in the CLI. However, she thought uh, she could pay us in crushed up fortune cookies, which was unfortunately not enough for paying rent. So we had to stop our contract at a semi-functioning login screen. But we'd be happy to show you what it looks like. So let's go ahead and run our application. So Mel, why don't you help me out here? Uh, looks like we just woke Madam Kotake and she's asking us if we have an appointment. Uh, do you have a name? She's a very busy woman. So we have to double check her calendar. I do, but my name is actually Hank. It's not Mel right now. Okay, let's see if you're on the list. <laughs> you're not on the list. Oh. Oh my gosh, looks like Madam Kotake just does not have any time for that silly business. Get out of her face. Let's uh, go ahead and knock on her door just once more by pressing in Ruby, Rup, or Ruby, Runner, da, da, Ruby. Okay, we have the, you know, she has, she's a very formal woman, right? Has to go through her introduction as per usual. All right, what's your name? I don't know. I want to say it. She's so scary. Um, it's Mel. Mel? Okay, Mel. Let's see. Oh, perfect. And if payment was part of the process, this is where we would have our main menu. Um, yeah, and that's so far, that's where we've gotten. That is a uh, project think, fortune uh, for us. What a fine implementation of user login. Everybody give it up for Alex and Mel. Does anybody have any questions? No, oh, I can stop sharing. Will the madam be seeing people in the future? One more time. Will the madam be seeing people in the future? Yes, uh, she just, you know, COVID really hurt her industry right now as uh, she prefers more of an intimate one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, so once she lines her pockets, she'll be lining our pockets. <laughs> Would you say it was rather unpredictable? Yeah. <laughs> what <would> you say? <laughs> Madel Kuntake was just a very um, ambitious person. And so she had a lot of ideas at first. Um, 
And so we, I think Mel and I both understood finally uh, the importance of thin vertical slices. We had a lot of, of, we had a lot that we wanted to do. And I think it was hard for us to pick the direction to begin and to kind of narrow it down. Yeah. All righty, everybody give them another hand. All righty. And next up, last before the break, we have Alan. Everybody give a round of applause for Alan. Let's get it. All right, hey everybody. Um, I can find the share screen button. All right, so this is a virtual arcade that I decided building. Uh, I was really ambitious, like 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 my brain. I was seeing all these different like like games I wanted to build, and I'm like, well, I don't really want like I've only got one project, right? So my project is building an arcade where I can then build all of the different games. Uh, I'm gonna try logging in. I'm not Mondo on Alan. Password. Um. Wait a second. I forgot to sign up first. That interactively swaps me back into the uh, different form. Let's go with. Create a new user. This uh, create new user function automatically logs me in. Does to move an avatar around the arcade, use the WASD keys to interact with the game, move your avatar close and press the enter key. Do that now. Current balance is negative 152 tokens. Well, he's, uh, he's been here a lot, hasn't he? Uh, spend $1 to get four tokens. Okay, probably, uh, probably need more tokens than that. Of course. Sure. Let's give it to the shot. Let's uh, let's try the only working game. All right. Any one of these? Oh, well, that would explain why uh, he's out of money. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the app so far. Wonderful. My favorite part about that app is I don't have to get on my knees and beg my mom for quarters just to play the games. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Alan. Does anybody have any questions? Alan, you got to talk about your collision engine. Yes, that is the the most the coolest freaking thing that I it, it, it took me about half the time just to build the like the arcade screen where the people just walk around. Um, apparently, people have already done this before. There's like Phaser and all of this other stuff. Um, but the really really cool thing to talk about, if I can get to it, is on this screen right here. So this is, this slice of code is huge. So this basically makes uh, any node element that we have, you can basically turn it into something that based off of the class list, it'll listen to the class list. And like, so, so I, I don't know the way to say it. There's all of these different like objects and stuff that you could make, you could create a class of orc or class of human and have them do all sorts of different things. Um, but those are like saved as states on the back end. This makes them dynamic things that can enter that like the actions can just interact based off of their classes. That took me a couple of days to figure out. Does anybody have any other questions? All righty. Well, I will see all of your fine faces after a quick short break here. Um, what time do we want to reconvene? Maybe around, uh, let's see, what time is it now? We got it at 
is 257 now. How does 315 sound? 310? Let's do 310. 310. We're meeting at 310. Let's get it. Also, Alan, if you're still there, check this out. Bam. Okay, cool. All righty, Colton. And Colton and Brent. I'm so sorry. That is Colton and Brent on a team. How's it going, everybody? Um, everybody can see that? Uh, cool. Yeah, I can see it. Cool. All right, so this is our project. It's called The Dungeon. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And so first it says, welcome adventurer. Your quest is to slay the dragon in the dungeon. However, the dragon is fierce and you will not be able to take him out alone. So go out, find allies in your quest. Would you like to continue? We'll go ahead and continue. And we are brought to the menu. So from the menu, we can list our allies, list our attacks, and go to the map or we can quit the game. So let's go ahead, list our allies. Looks like we don't have any allies right now. Since we don't have any allies, we also have no attack, so let's go find some allies. So here's our map. We can go to the tavern, the farm, the castle, or the dungeon. We have the dragons in the dungeon, so we don't want to go there yet. So let's go ahead and he head to the tavern. Get to the tavern. Got some new music going. Um, let's talk to Ulrich. Here's Ulrich. Hello, my name is Ulrich, the wizard. What brings you to the tavern? So we can ask him to join us, or you can just say, hey, we're just passing through and leave. Let's go ahead and get him on our team. Let's talk to some more people, see if they want to help us fight the uh, dragon. Let's go back, let's go back to the menu. And let's see if we have our allies here. Yep, all of our friends from the tavern are here. Let's go see the attacks. Cool, we have two attacks per person. And it looks like Orin is pretty low in attack, so we might not want him on our team for this fight. So let's go back to the map. Go to the tavern. Talk to Boren, say, hey bud, you're gonna have to sit this one out. He said he's sad, but he understands and he left our team. Let's get a couple more allies with us before we go take on the dragon. And we oh yep, a thief. Let's get him on our team. Go to the castle. Just one guy at the castle. We got a knight here. Definitely want him on our team. And I think we're ready to face the dragon. Let's do it. You want to take over, Brett? Yeah. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go in there. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and try... Go ahead and try the fireball first. We did 40 damage, we dragged out 18. All right, there's our health now. Uh, let's try the lightning. Good. 63 to 120. Um, let's try, let's go down and see the rest. Let's try tackle and see what happens. Cool. 38 to 110, we're getting close. We're losing. Uh, let's try, let's try the arrow storm. Arrow storm. 55 damage. I did 25. Ooh, 13 to 55 is close. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and try the poison. We might lose on this one. Try the poison. Oh! It's 65 damage. We defeated the dragon. We had 13 health left and defeated him. Oh! Uh... That's the project. I don't know about y'all, but I'm waiting for that to come out on Game Boy Advanced. All righty. Everybody give it up for Colton and Brett. Does anybody have any questions? How the fuck did you guys do that in so little time? Like, I don't, what? We basically just worked on it during the entire week. We didn't yeah, we, we didn't, we didn't go to any lessons. Like we were, we were having so much fun doing this. Uh, like 
I would say we probably put nine nine hours in every day. Can we request a class for you guys to show us how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna launch a career off of you guys. We knew exactly what we wanted to do, like like as soon as the list came out, we said like you want yeah. to so we just as soon, as soon as I found out he was my partner, like I messaged him and we got on it like a little zoom and like it was like it, we really didn't have any problems throughout the whole thing. That's awesome. You know the art for it. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's just uh, a bunch of websites that people post their ASCII art. That's why all the initials there. We felt bad about taking out people's initials <laughs> if they like made it and stuff. So. And then we just uh, generated the uh, like all the words you saw in art. That's just generated that way. That was like TTY stuff, right? Like TTY fonts or something. Yeah. Uh. No. It was, uh, we kind of just, uh, like you, you go to a website and they'll uh, like make, uh, what is it called, word art, I think, and it'll make it for you. And then you kind of just, you could use that. Like it's like a copy and paste method almost, you know what I mean? It's a string kind of. You just made a string yeah, inside yeah. To all the locations, attacks and people like it within the. And then like everything has a relationship. So it's like each character has a relationship with what like what would be his avatar, which is the picture, you know? Damn. And you guys crazy. Thank you. Alrighty. Everybody give it up one more time for that. Also, I have no idea what Jordan just said, but I know that he said it in a very chill way based on- <laughs> Me neither, I didn't hear it. <laughs> All righty. Next up, we have good old Chenderson. Everybody give it up for Chris Henderson. What's up, guys? Thank you. Right on. I feel kind of bad. Everybody had these amazing projects. Uh, and again, guys, amazing. Um, let me share my screen here. Feeling kind of bad because I kind of had to scrap my project. But I was like, you know what? It's all right. Don't worry about it. Just, just get done what you can. And here we go, sharing my screen. Today, I was working... Where'd you guys go? There you are. I was working on some, what is this? Cool. Okay. So this is an app I made. Um, when I first started building an app, I had to kind of scrap it because making it from the user end, I was just overcomplicating things and making myself um, confused. So I went from the library end. So it's a Showtime Baby. The, um, the idea was you log in as a user, and then you can see what shows that you've liked, um, commented it on. And it, I wanted my footer to kind of give you suggestions. That's also what I was kind of working on. Um, my pop-up function, I did not get to work. So I went ahead and I started just putting him in, in the header. So you can kind of click that. And if you click really anything, it will get rid of whatever summary is up there and populate it with the new one. Since there are multiple shows, I have a sticky header that will follow me pretty much down to, there's like a bajillion shows if you could see the scroller there. Um, and then again, it'll give you kind of information there on each one. Each link also will take you to their official site. So American Horror Story. Everybody likes getting scared every once in a while. That just to show you that that does connect there. That's really just comes from the API that I used. Really cool there. Um, really, yeah, just kind of kept spinning myself in circles. Um, big shout out to Coulter for uh, being there when I needed to vent the other night. And I was just like, dude, I just don't know what I'm doing. So um, this is kind of my app. The idea, um, once I get a user page working is that um, these uh, shows will be more interactive, leaving comments and likes. Um, right now it's just a library, unfortunately. Um, and that's, that's what I got for you. Thank you. Everybody give it up. Does anybody have any questions for Chris? All righty, everybody give it up one more time. And next up we have Kat and Mary Beth. Let's give them a round of applause. Hey. So Kat's gonna share her screen and then I think I'm gonna walk you guys through. So our app is a hike selector app. Um, we're gonna go ahead and run it in our CLI right here. 
So we have some cool TTY stuff that happens right off the bat with our loading bar and the hike selector. And Kat knows my login stuff, so she can just log me in there. <laughs> Sorry. Let's look, for, let's look for a hike that's dog friendly since it sounds like Kat's dog is ready to go. So if you want to look for a hike right there, Kills out. Um, we, can, <laughs> we can filter by dog friendly. Moves our little mountain icon up and down the page. Um, so yeah, let's maybe choose like South Mesa. It's a good easy hike to start with. Select that one. Here's some stats on that. Um, let's try to add this hike to our favorite. So I've actually already added this hike to my favorite, so it says you can't do that again. So let's view those favorites again. Um, so we have a nice long list here. You probably remove a couple if you wanted. So let's edit the favorite. Um, which one do you want to take off, Kat? Uh, let's get rid of Mount Beerstad. Yeah, that one's pretty hard. Oh, wait, why is it? Sorry. Okay. Let's get rid of Grizzly Peak instead. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So yeah, now you see our updated list without Grizzly Peak. Uh, we can go look for another hike for another filter. Um, how about let's do difficulty. So we have a couple different options for you here. Um, let's go advanced, even though we just took off the hardest one. Um, and then, oh yeah, let's add Grizzly Peak back. How about that? Cool, there we go. There's those stats again. Add it back to the favorite. There we go. So from here, we could view the favorites again and see that it's on there. We can look for another hike or exit as well. And that's pretty much our app. Awesome job. Does anybody have any questions? Are you guys going to build this out further? Yeah, probably. We had some ideas that didn't make it onto the final cut. So it would be a really fun practice. I'd be down. So. Yeah, it's really cool. Did y'all use an API for all the information about the mountains or did you um, like uh, put in the information yourselves? Yeah, we, we just seeded those. Mm. Sorry, you can go Kat. I was gonna say we manually seeded these, but that we noted that on our readme that like a next step could be seeding more from an API. It's really awesome. All righty, everybody give it up for them one more time. Nice work, nice work. And next up, we have Cassie, Castle Rolling Cassie. All righty, everybody give her a hand. I forgot to unmute first. <laughs> okay. Do you see something that says welcome to workout tracker? No. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so this is in the spirit of January tracking workouts. Um, so first I'll just sign up. And then I'm going to log in. And it can add some workouts. So a date, a duration, and a description, and it adds it to a card like that. And um, let's do one for yesterday. So this one will be a 45 minute workout. And then let's do one, oopsies, for tomorrow. Um, so there's some of them right there. You can favorite them, you can unfavorite them. And then I can delete the one that I made on mistake by mistake. And the other thing I wanted to show you was um, I went ahead and made it responsive. So added in some media queries and it's different on tablet, phone and laptop. And that's my project. Well, that's something I could certainly use after the holidays. All righty. And does anybody have any questions for Cassie? Was your uh, exercise description, is, is was that a drop down or was, the, uh, uh, was it remembering what you put in previously? It was remembering what I put in previously. Okay, cool. It was the responsiveness just the media queries or? 
yeah, media queries with different styling for the different screen sizes. Yeah. All righty, one more round of applause. Cool. And next up we have Mr. Hubert and Mr. Rothfuss. Let's get it. Sweet. I think you're, um, I think you're oh, muted. Yeah, yeah, someone's yeah. muted, whoever's sharing. Yeah. Welcome to the Stay at Home Casino app. Would you like to play a game with us today? I sure would. Thanks for coming by this Friday afternoon. Have you been here before? Uh, no. Well, shucks. Thanks for coming to our casino. What's your name, friend? Uh, let's go with John. What would you like your secret passphrase to be, John? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Can I get a hint? What about a hint in case you forget your password? That's if you're logging in. Yeah, yeah, if I'm logging in. I messed up our order. All right. <laughs> um, go ahead, go ahead. We'll go back to it later. Yeah, just something, I don't know. You choose. Yeah. Hello there, John. Are you ready to play a game? Uh, yeah. What would you like to play? Ooh, I haven't played strip poker in a minute. Let's do that. Now you know we don't do that sort of thing around here. Stop messing around, John. What Damn. would you like to play? Uh, fine. Let's, let's do Blackjack. Welcome to Stay at Home Casino, Blackjack Edition. Are you ready to play Blackjack? Yes. Sounds good. I hope you're feeling lucky. Aces are low. Would you like to hit? Uh, the house says stay, actually, so I'll stay. Looks like you're winning. Time for me to hit. Would you like to play another round? Uh, sure. Oh, uh, I think I messed it up because it tied. Are you ready to play blackjack? Yes. Sounds good. I hope you're feeling lucky. Aces are low. Would you like to hit? Yes. Would you like to hit? No. Would you like to play another round? Ow. What would you like to play? Let's do war. Welcome to stay at home war. Are you ready to play a game of war? Yes. Let's play. Aces are low. You got an ace, but I got a six. I win. Would you like to play another round? Nah. What would you like to play? Let's check our score. My score. John Stay at Home Casino scores. Oh. What would you like to play? So I think it messed up because we already have John as a user in there, and I didn't do like an individual identification yeah, thing. Up. Let's go to the beginning. Uh, Okay. We'd hate to see you go, but we love to watch you leave. Thanks for coming. We will see you again next time. Okay, uh, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> do one more time. So yeah, so that messed up because we already had John in the database, so I yeah. didn't set anything up. Get a plan and I it up. Let's try again. Would you like to play a game with us today? Thanks for coming by this Friday afternoon. Have you been here before? Yes. What's your name, friend? John. Hey there, John. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you at first. Do you remember your secret passphrase? No. Sorry, John. That doesn't line up with what we've got written down here. Do you need a hint? Yeah. Well, I can't tell you outright, but it's something about a dog. Uh, okay, I remember. 
That's good to hear. What's your name, friend? John. And then hey, it just logs you back in again. But yeah, I uh, I was tinkering with buy check at the very end, and I didn't do. I made something for um, uh, if the dealer hits twenty one, and I think I messed up the logic. Uh, so that's why I wasn't actually reading anything off. Uh, whenever the game was over, but that's what we got. Thanks. Well, I have a hunch that my password was Doom Slayer, but I'm not sure. sure was. That was your password. <laughs> All righty. Does anybody have any questions? Really, question? Just awesome job, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Sweet. I'm really upset that I fucked up the last part of the blackjack because I did it during presentations. I shouldn't have messed with it. All righty. Everybody give him another round of applause. And next up, we have Augie. Let's give it up for Augie. Oh, well, I think you got to stop sharing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if I could just steal that from you. I could help you. Hang on, I got it. Yeah, sorry. It's all good. I can Yo, cool. cancel it anyways. All right, cool. I think we're good now. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, so for my app, I basically wanted to make a game. It's like Cards Against Humanity. It basically is Cards Against Humanity, but it uses songs, uh, song titles from Spotify. So it's using the Spotify API uh, to pull in that information. And it's also, as you'll see, a uh, music discovery kind of tool. So this is our like login page. This doesn't work yet, but it's kind of a placeholder. We're gonna load it up and here we go. So this pulls in genres from Spotify. So let's go, oh, let's go rock. And then we can pick from these playlists. Let's say, yeah, rock classics, why not? Deal me cards. So let me get some songs here. And when you click on the card, brings it up here and brings up that song information right here. Uh, and then we can, let's pick some black cards to match up with. Let's see here, any of it platform or about, eh, let's get a different one. Oh, there we go. This is actually kind of perfect. Let's keep that going. And uh, also here we have a little player. This might be a little loud. Keep around. Hell yeah. Um, and then we can also, let's say we like that because fuck yeah, it's Led Zeppelin. We can share that and, you know, share it to Facebook. Why not? Or maybe let's tweet about it. Gotta get on the tweeter. Do some tweet action. Um, but let's say we don't want to do that. We just want to open up in our own Spotify. We click that and it opens it up right in Spotify right there for us, which is pretty cool. And then we can save that later. Um, and that's the basic functionality. If we want to get a different set, we can do, let's do some, let's do some, let's see, some party music, rock party, what's that? Get some new cards. Well, that's the basic idea. The whole game isn't functional yet, um, but I am definitely gonna spend a lot more time on this and plan on making it a game with users and cards are and all that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my app. Well, I had a whole lot of love for that app. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Augie? Dude, when you said your idea, I was blown away. And then your uh, layout and functionality is just like. Thank you, man. Yeah, I spent, I mean, that's what I spent most of the time on. And then working with the Spotify API, uh, there's often involved with that because you have to get a token and send it for the request for the genre and the songs. Um, but yeah, I, I came up with the idea of. I was stuck in idea hell, like always, just trying to think of something to make. And uh, yeah, when I came with that, I got really excited and I want to work on it a lot more and make it fully functional, hopefully. So it was a lot of fun to work on. You said that uh, Spotify had uh, a token off. Did you have to pay? No, um, I, I'm sure there's a certain level that you would have to pay for for a certain number of requests, but I haven't run into anything so far. Um, but yeah, you can partner with them. The Spotify API and their developer site is actually really powerful and really cool. 
it was a lot of fun to work with. How easy was it? Does it does it actually post to Facebook? And was that easy? Or how did you do yeah, that? Yeah, so that actually is all for free with that. Um, it's an iframe web player embedded from Spotify. They kind of give you a code for it. Uh, and I dynamically was making it. Um, but yeah, it's just built in with that. They have the little share icon and all those. And they just it just pulls in your info from your browser if you're already logged in. Oh, cool. Um, how are the docs for those? Uh, good. Really good, actually. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of people work with it. So there's a lot of information out there. But Spotify is, is great. I mean, they really help out developers. Nice. All righty. Great job, Augie. And next up, we have Sam Gold and Obina. Hello. Um, who is, oh, there it is. Share that. We all good? That's great. Okay, thank you. So, uh, my name is Sam. My name is Obina. And uh, we made a, just a uh, CLI notepad, practical. So one of the features that we have is that um, every single person has their own account. So whatever notes that you write saves it to yourself and you don't have to like wade through my extensive collection of my chemical romance lyrics that I've translated to pig Latin. So do we have an account with us? We'll go with no. Would you like to create an account? Let's go with yes. Desired username, Abina, what do you think? Uh, let's try Obina Sam. Obina Sam, that's logical. It makes sense. Those are our names. Except that username is already taken. Uh, let's go with another one. Uh, let's try Mickey. Mickey, like that. Sure you want it to be our username? Yes. So we have all the options here. Um, because this is a new uh, user, obviously, you have to create a new note. Um, I'm a very forgetful person. I might uh, have to uh, go shopping this weekend, so uh, let me... Uh, Make sure to say buy some eggs this weekend. You make sure that you know there are no typos or anything like that. So you go yes. And uh, would you like to do anything else? Sure. Let's let's go back to the main menu. Uh, and then from here, you can go and you can read all of the notes that you've uh, saved thus far. Um, and yeah, you know, being able to say what the other stuff is. And we also have the updates existing notes. Uh, so what that does, it goes. Um, goes through your previous notes and asks you which of the notes you want to um, update. So right now we just have one note in there. So we're going to go ahead and update that one note. And we'll just say buy some eggs and bread this weekend. <clears throat> so it's a French toast kind of weekend, I guess. And just make sure, go yes, sure, sure enough. Uh, you want to do anything else? Yes, we do. So we also have the deletes, uh, pretty much uh, does what it says, it deletes a uh, previous note. So we'll just go ahead and delete that uh, note. And then as you can see, uh, there, there's no, the, the note is gone and uh, you can't read something that you haven't written yet. So um, yeah, that is, that's our app. Good job. Anybody have any questions? All righty. Everybody give it up for him one more time. Next up, we've got Roz and Ryan. Give them a hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan, do you want to share a screen and then? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, that is the liquid gold. <gasps> what is the liquid gold, you might ask? Anybody want to take guesses or should we just go for it? No? Okay, cool. All right, so um, this is an app for uh, everybody who loves coffee. And um, it doesn't matter if you're a store owner, if you're a roaster, if you're a, a I don't know, a normal person. Um, and let's uh, let's hop in and see what's, what's going on. Uh, Ryan, would you? Okay, cool. All right, um, would we like to sign in? Um, sure, let's sign in. Okay, what is my username? Um, I don't know, is it Roz? No, I think, 
for this one, we uh, named you Razzle. Oh, oh, all right. Well, I am Razzle then. Cool. Uh, my password is very secretive. That's the one. One, two, three. You guessed it. Cool. Um, cool. We are logged in. Uh, let's continue. See what's going on. Cool. All right. So um, I can add coffee and review coffee, and I can also view a selection. Let's uh, let's view our selection. See what's going on. Cool. All right. Um, what the heck is Moon Buggy? Let's check out Moon Buggy. Whoa, Moon Buggy is from Guatemala and it's light roasted. Cool. All right. Uh, sweet. Let's go back and uh, see what's what's going on. Um, I don't think I have my favorite coffee on there, so let's uh, let's add that. My favorite coffee, yes, um, would be not Starbucks. <laughs> um, I don't know, what would be my favorite coffee? How about we go with something like uh, Dutch Bros? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what kind of coffee beans they use, but you know, <laughs> Dutch Bros beans. Oh, what are you talking about? It's great quality. All right. Um, where is Columbia. it from? I'm not just doing uh, Columbia. Well, I mean, it could be from Dutch's land, but oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you guys are blowing up the chat. I need to check all this out. I'm, I'm, I'm FOMO right now. <laughs> um, sweet, all right. Um, would we like to go back to the main menu? Yeah, let's go back to the main menu and um, let's uh, check out our selection again. Make sure that um, the coffee that we like was added to the list for everybody else to see. And there you folks go. Da 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 da. All right, cool, that's our app. <laughs> well, I was getting the afternoon sleepsies and then that app woke me right up. All righty. Everybody give them a hand. Does anybody have any questions for them? Yo, Raz, does it not bother you that like one of your eyes is in the shade and one is in the sun? You know, um, no, <laughs> I'm partially blind in one eye, actually. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah. I would notice that <laughs> just by looking at you. Like, <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> All right, everybody give them another round of applause. And next up, we have Gerald. Everybody give Gerald a round of applause. Hi, everyone. Please excuse me, I'm a little frazzled. I just had a, an altercation walking my dogs where uh, some dogs that were off leash attacked my dogs. And it, uh, it was pretty scary. So my adrenaline has me a bit shaky from that. And I think I might've tore my groin, my groin in the fracas too. So this is going to be a little uh, fractured for a presentation. The other thing that happened to me too is I, uh, um, I couldn't get all my off to work. So this is a previous version of my app. Um, my app is called Definitions. And what I've done is I have taken, whoops, I'm sorry, let me share my screen. Okay, here we go. So my app is called Definitions. And what I've done is I've taken a page from my website that I've had for years and years, where I, through the years of my studying philosophy and the humanities, collected words that were defined in the context of a reading. And what I wanted to do was to make an app out of that and have it available to other users so they could also add to this um, curated selection of definitions of words in the context of readings. So, oops, sorry, let me get zoom out of the way here. Oh, 
Okay, so my light server. Sorry, this just broke for me. Didn't break, but I, Zoom was in my way for a minute. Okay, so here's the previous version. I just did some quick styling on it while we were in presentations. Um, I have a sign in form that has full auth on it um, that we can see real quick if I do a new user. Do can see that we get a new user successfully created and if we go to localhost we and we update it we can see that we have the secure password and the new user I also have full auth on it so I can update and destroy it as well um, back to the home page I have all the terms seated in this prior version here and what you would do here here is if you wanted to browse any of the terms you would click on them like I did here on my website and then you would go and you would view the actual definition of that word on some of the definitions there are multiple ones like philosophy for example and you would see all the possible definitions um, and as a user you would be able to create a new one a new term or an existing term and then you would be able to add that and have that functionality as well as the functionality to browse. Um, that's my app definitions. I'm sorry for the uh, for the fraction presentation. Um, thank you very much. Well, we all hope you're okay, Gerald, and we love you very much. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Also, great job on the app. Does thank anybody you. have any questions for Gerald? Are the definitions from like a dictionary API or did you see them yourself? The definitions have been uh, curated over my years of reading, particularly in philosophy. Um, so they come from things that I've read and then excerpted. So not from an API, I did have to see them myself. You seeded them all, wow, cool. Yeah. Gerald, do you have a word that you really like? Uh, I have more than one. I have probably my fate, one of my more favorite definitions, more favorite, my grammar is fantastic right now, is the, the definition of cost from Henry David Thoreau. He, uh, he calls the cost of a thing is the amount of what I will call life, which is required to be exchanged for, for it immediately or in the long run. That's deep. That's one of my favorites. Carol, has anyone told you you remind them of Crispin Glover? I have not heard Crispin Glover. I've heard uh, Charlie Sheen, John, uh, Jimmy Connors, and, and others, but not Crispin Glover, no. I had Crispin Glover vibes, so thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that. Thank you. Everybody give it up for Gerald. Great job, Gerald. All righty. And next up we have... We got two Nates. We got the double Nate team. Everybody give it up for Nate Fedsden and Nate Croatia. That's kind of fucked up, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, you guys hear me? I think so. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Pal Weather, uh, your number one source for Pal conditions for your favorite Colorado resorts. Um, this is our app. Uh, Nate, what are we going to do first here? Yeah, so let's go ahead and use a user function. So let's try signing into the app. Okay, do we have a username? We want to make one. Uh, no, let's make one. Okay. You want to create All a right. user? Yeah, let's do it. So then we'll enter a password. Some demographic information. And then we get to see if we want to select any Colorado resorts to add to a favorites tab. Do you have any favorites, Nate? Uh, let's do like Vail. What else is on the list? Yeah, uh, we, Eldora. We've got them all. Eldora is pretty close. Yeah. Cool, let's start with us. 
All right, so awesome. we've got a user profile. Let's sign in. Awesome, now we're into the app. We can check the weather for any Colorado resorts. So let's see, let's take a, let's take a look at, let's take a look at Keystone for this week. Now we have the option for current weather, a 12 hour forecast, three, five and seven days. Let's look, uh, look and see what it's like right now. Awesome, it's about 25 degrees, clear, the eight miles per hour of speed, wind speed. Well, let's look ahead for this weekend. Check three days. Awesome, now we can get uh, the temperatures for the weekend, uh, how much snow we're gonna be getting, what the conditions are gonna be like. Does anybody, does anybody plan on going snowboarding this weekend? Wanna check one of these uh, resorts out? Loveland, please. Loveland, let's see what Loveland looks like. Let's Absolutely. do like a seven day on that. Sure, let's do seven day. Great, and there we got all the information for the week what the temperature is going to be like, see if we're going to get, oh, we're only going to get a little bit on, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit of snow on the 14th. Maybe you might not want to go there if you want to get more POW. But that's about our app. You can check any Colorado resort, get the information that you need to get those pow, get that POW. Excellent job. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, what up with that API? What's the what is the API? Uh, we used one weather. weather. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh, the open weather map, and we used the one call API. Um, basically, how we did it was we just put the latitude and longitude for each resort and made the call based on that. Well, uh, say, say it again. Uh, one, I did not it's uh, openweathermap.org. That's the API. Oh, thanks. All righty. Everybody give it up for them. Well, we have had a great round of projects today, but we have one more to take us home. Everybody give a fat round of applause for Javarier. Hi. <laughs> Oh, let me share my screen. So are you guys able to see this? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I forget y'all are muted. Sorry. <laughs> well, um, I wasn't even supposed to show y'all that yet, but I wanted to before we, you know, got into my app, look at some photos, and, you know, ask yourself what you kind of think about these, you know, he's pretty mad. He's pretty mad too. But this is me when I haven't ate when I don't have a Snickers or something, I'm, I'm fuming from the ears. And it's also me when I try to go get food and my significant other doesn't pick anything when I give them 50,000 suggestions. So in order to be like this guy right here, I made this app called Snack Maps. And this little thing is in the way for me, but not you guys. So Snack Maps and yeah, look at that, pretty cool. <laughs> this right here is, messes me up, but Snack Maps was just designed for you know, if you're just out and about and you don't want to look at Google Maps because they have literally everything on there. If you just want food, um, you'll be able to kind of click around and generate that. So but before we begin, let's actually sign in. Well, I'm not going to do tests. Let's just do Big Papa or something. Sign in. Damn, you're embarrassing me. Oh, I didn't sign up yet. So let me actually sign up. And damn, I spoiled it, but <laughs> I'm really proud of this. Um, let me sign up, Javari. Uh, simple password, sign up. So your map name is Javari, and your super super secret phrase is. Now I'm just playing. We're not gonna, you know, display that out to people. <laughs> um, then we go and sign in. I low key forgot my stuff, so let's just <laughs> let's do this one because. Mm -mm. Oh, I hope it's working, y'all. That would be annoying. Let's, okay, see, there we go. Okay, so now your, I need to move this. So your username is here. And now that you're signed in, you can go ahead and either use our, well, actually, I have a, <laughs> I have a little thing here. If you don't know what to do, um, you can actually click help. And down here, how it works, I have a little video that, it's, it's the basic design before I kind of 
changed it, but you go in, you click around, and then once you click spawn, it'll spawn nearby restaurants. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> As you can see here, a little potato. Um, so I'm thinking this area-ish might have some food I want. So let me just load nearby restaurants. And here are some restaurants. See, it's weird because sometimes stuff have, has ratings, you see, and sometimes other stuff doesn't. But if I want to go to El Toro, let me just go down here and I can see more about it. Some of them don't have photos. I apologize. But... Yep. So let me go to, I guess, I guess this one has a photo. So let me go here. And then once I'm in here, you have a little animation with a little panda and cooking. And then um, that's about it. I wanted to go ahead and add this search city for your favorite diner experience. But once you go ahead and type Denver and submit and all that, it just gets to a point where like, hold on, let me move that. In the API, you need to actually uh, have a fetch request here, put in the name, and then it'll give you the ID, which you'll go down here and put it in here and then actually go in, use that ID and go into restaurants and go. So it was just like, I would need like five different fetches for this to work and, you know, timing and trying to design it and stuff. I didn't have enough time, but that's just the main gist of it. And this little glitch, if you use Leaflet, I don't know what happens, but this thing happens sometimes and it'll spawn you all the way <laughs> over here with, I get, and it's still, it's, it's a little weird. Yeah, I don't know why it does that, but yeah. Thank you guys for your time. Great job. And does anybody have any questions for Javarie? Any good ones. It's like, like, where do you even start? Like, I don't, that was, that was that's awesome. Yeah, second that that, that looked like a whole tangle of webs that you were working on, brother. It's good good stuff. Yeah, I spent literally like mod one. Don't mod modders don't do this. I spent like three weeks designing it or not designing it. Three weeks thinking about it, and then like Wednesday came around, and I was finally with Ahmed. Like I don't even know how to access the API, and he helped me put in my headers and stuff. And I finally just sat down and did this in like four or three days and I haven't gotten a lot of sleep as y'all can probably tell, but thank you guys for the compliments. I really appreciate it. I, I did like this app and the idea behind it because I'm a hungry person. I really am. Awesome. Um, how many lines of code do you have? I have it up here. Let me see. On my, <laughs> well, it depends on which file because on my, even just my CSS file has like 300. My app.js has 334. That's not too much. And then my models and index.html has like 100 or so. Not too bad. All righty. So if everybody didn't know, after this week, I'm sure you know by now, making an app is pretty difficult. So everybody just give yourself a round of applause because all of you kicked ass this week. So great job. Um,